starts. David, I, I forgot. We got a pause right here. Is Mr. Fuji has got to go through that little ritual of his with this uh, salt or powder or whatever it is that he spreads into the corner and over that post of the ring before each match. And I think some of the wrestlers say it's like salt. It, yes. it, 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 Wisely, it uh, eyes referee Sonny Fargo had him wipe his he hands. He wiped his hands, right. It, it could be salt. I have no idea what it is, some type of a ceremonial substance that he uses. And David, you know, it's a, the next time I talk to uh, him, I, I'm going to ask him just right. about that little ceremony. Okay. I'd be interested in knowing about it and knowing what that means. Okay, Richie switches across, picks him up for the slam. Watch it. Drop kick. Right David, earlier we saw Jimmy Snuka as he won his match in advance in our tournament. And while Snuka and Gene Anderson were out here, I couldn't help but think about that youngster, Jay Youngblood. And while I understand that Youngblood is coming right along at that yes, leg of his that, that he had broken is uh, healing, that he is working out some, and that he is wrestling a little bit. He's out in Portland, Oregon, I understand. Right. And uh, he wants we've to had make, a lot of mail asking about it. He wants to make sure that he is 150% okay before he ever tries to come back here. Boy, I look forward to seeing him yes. back. Hope it won't be too long, fans, but uh, we appreciate all the mail and all the questions you've been asking about Youngblood. And so if you want to write him, write J. Youngblood, Portland. It might get there. Yeah, it might. I, I don't know, David. Portland's a big place. But I'm sure everybody there knows Jay Youngblood. Oh, yeah. now, David. Over the rope there with Richie with that arm and that elbow smash right down across the arm muscle. Arm bar now on Tenry. Makes the tag. Dave Jacobs. Jacobs is in. Stays with that arm. Ooh, we got sort of an international match here. Abe Jacobs from New Zealand, Tenru and F uh, Fuji from Japan, of course, and then Ron Ritchie from the good old USA. So they're from all over right there in the ring now. But you got to hand it to this Japanese pair. Fuji and Tenru both, of course, for some time have really been extremely well known in professional wrestling all over the world and they teamed together here they went right after the championship belts and of course they were successful in winning those mid-atlantic championship belts richie's hurt david when he went over the back of tenru he could even have jammed his neck right there his head his head went right into the mat and i think he may have jammed his neck and he's not going to get any. Fuji realizing this oh, went straight, straight for right. the neck. Into the turnbuckle. Makes the tag to Tenru. Tenru is in. Fist to the midsection. Picks him up. Slam. Stays right in that corner. Fist for the pin. Well, and Richie right in the corner got a foot up. Very good thinking on his part. At least his head was still clear enough for him to think to get that foot over. What a chopper. These guys throw some tremendous karate punches and like chop. A meat cleaver. Again, hard to the turnbuckle goes Richie. Roll up. Got him. Count two. Tindrew still staying with the back of the neck. Again, a double team. Fans, next week, our TV tournament will continue our match next week. Ivan Koloff against Bruno San Martino Jr. Good match. Be a good our match, match next week in our AWA TV tournament. Plus, we'll have some great tag team matches for you next week. That is right. Fuji now with those chops and those karate blows. He had gotten the fingers into the throat of Ricky and Fuji. Going to be held in the ring again by Fuji and double teamed, and he is really taking some punishment. Here. Yeah. Well, into the air and 
dropped him back into the corner on the turnbuckles right out of the back. Vinci realizing, Ooh. oh, what a goodness. That was a ringing blow that caught yes, Tenru. Good move on Abe's part. Going straight for that leg with the hold that he knows best. The Kiwi roll, he's going to try to save him up for it. Boy, he has got the pressure now on that yes, leg. Tenru twisting, turning, flailing away on the mat, finally reaches the ropes. He pulls, wisely pulls him out. He's got to go right back to the leg again. He has him in the center of the ring, exactly where he wants it. All right, look at this. Look how he's got that leg bent back. Oh, my word. He's going to pull it right off. He's got his knee right up in his chest. Oh my word, he could kiss his he's knee. Talking, so he's close. talking about a split now. He has really got a split on him. I don't see how Kenry can stand that. The tag to Richie. And Richie's going to go again to the leg. Look at him grabbing his tender. tried to back crawl quickly over to the corner. Again, the elbow smash, and again out of the leg. Good move by Richie. Richie makes that tag to Abe. Abe comes right back in. Let's see what happens. Kiwi roll. This you think that's it. what it is, yes. David? No, into the turnbuckle. Yes! Got him Coming down. out of the corner, that's what he did. The leg is weak enough. Abe knows this. He went into the ropes. He rolled him into the ropes. Abe had him set up to roll him around the ring, roll him into the ropes. Tenru with a switch. Kick to the back. All right, Tenru now falling into the corner, grabbing that leg of his. Made the tag. Here's Fuji. This may be that kamikaze yes. suplex. And it is. Got it. And he pins Abe Jacobs, David, with a kamikaze suplex. 